The best two sides in the tournament finally going head to head. What a final we have in store. Stay tuned for all the action. Hello everyone, it's a delight to be with you from Stadium Australia here in Sydney. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is Stuart Robson. And now it is very much final in more ways than one. The decisive match here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's England and they take on Jamaica. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The England first 11. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And here's how Jamaica will line up. Well, if the players at the side of the diamond don't tuck in when they lose possession and the number 10 doesn't recover, the holding midfield player could be in for a really difficult game today. And the contest begins. Defending when it mattered. Alessia Russo and threading it forward offside by a fraction Jody Brown Denisha Blackwood Primus they really look is it going to be that will do very nicely indeed. The first goal in the final. You've got to drink in these moments. Well, look at this again. No real power, but great understanding of the situation. That's an excellent goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Solon. Carter. Trudy Carter. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Can they convert? And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Trudy Carter. A oh, terrific pass. And there she is at the double. 
Nobody can get close to her. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent. One and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Carter. And they have possession again. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, she wasn't a million miles away, was she? Well, it's a very good effort. Good connection, great technique, but just not on target. And support available. And outfoxing her opponent. And good work to deny the chance. Well, credit for that piece of ball winning. Now what can she do next? Making sure nothing came of it. Lauren James and it's still on and a goal this time applying the finishing touch just what the doctor ordered Well, look at this again, because this is a really well-worked goal. The passing is incisive, the movement off the ball is bright, and it leads to a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a great goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen? enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. And she's being egged on by the crowd. Could reduce the deficit. Chance maybe. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Now, can she put this one away? Oh, another one for them. And with plenty of time still remaining, this game is very much back on. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So back underway, and here's the question. Can England come up with another goal? It needs an accurate cross. It might be a smart stop here. Can someone get on the end of this? Still not clear. And beyond the last defender, offside. Drew Spence. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Real chance. Terrific piece of anticipation. <laughs> A 
They take it short. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. A chance to whip it in. In position. Oh, a smart stop. Let's go, let's go. Just... Corner kick played in. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Well, smuggled behind for another corner. Firing is in. Oh, excellent diving stop. And over it comes. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Another corner. And there's the delivery. Just over the crossbar with that effort. Clear foul play. And as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Brown oh surely and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again can't miss surely They've worked so hard for this, and now they have their reward. They are the world champions. Well, these are great scenes, Derek. Just look at the emotions on these players' faces. They've been absolutely brilliant. It's been a hard tournament for them, but it's all been worthwhile now. Scenes of absolute jubilation, and rightly so. The end of a highly memorable journey with teamwork at the forefront, Stuart. Well, over the course of the tournament, they've had great team spirit. They've worked hard for each other. They've been excellent. The World Cup winners. And these celebrations are going to go on for quite some time. Well, they're enjoying the moment with the fans as well here. Great celebrations, great scenes. These pictures will be shown over and over again. It just doesn't get any better than this.